Coming up, in this video, you will learn how to create a custom WordPress header using Beaver Builder. In this video, we will be using the Beaver Themer add-on to build a custom header, which allows us to easily create Beaver Builder layouts in areas of pages or posts that are normally controlled by the WordPress theme. Before we begin, I want to let you know that we just launched a brand new online course site with video tutorials that will walk you through how to use the Beaver Builder products. To get access, go to courses.wpbeaverbuilder.com. Let's head over to our WordPress site and get started. First, you will need to be sure that you have both a premium version of Beaver Builder as well as the Beaver Themer add-on plugins installed and activated on your WordPress site. The next step is to create a new Themer layout. From your WordPress dashboard, click on Beaver Builder in the sidebar. Next, click on Themer Layouts. Here is where you can create and manage your Beaver Themer layouts. Go ahead and click the Add New button. Note that you'll want to give your Themer layout a unique name. In this example, I will simply call it header. The layout type we are going to select is Themer Layout. In the Layout dropdown, we will want to change this to header. Once you've made your selections, go ahead and click Add Themer Layout. The next step is to configure our layout settings. Here you can specify how you want to display your header. You can create a sticky header, meaning that it will remain visible when users scroll down the page. The header stays in place at the original size while the page is scrolled. If you choose a sticky header, you also get the option to shrink it as the page scrolls up. The new header size is determined by the height required for the full size logo, text, and menu. You also have the option to make your header an overlay. In this case, the row background for the header becomes transparent and the content row moves up to the top of the window. Next, we will choose where to display our header by setting the location. If you select entire site, your header will be visible on every post and page on your site. If you want to be more limited, you can choose specific types of posts or pages and add more than one location rule. If there are any areas where you'd like your header to not be visible, you can set an exclusion rule. Set the Add Exclusion Rule button and specify which locations on your site that you would not like your header to appear on. For example, we can choose to not show this header on a sales page or opt-in page. For these excluded pages, we could choose to create a different theme or header layout. Otherwise, your theme's header will display. For this example, let's set this header to ensure it's visible across our entire site. You must control where the themer header occurs through this location settings. The rules section lets you set any conditional logic rules, such as appearing only when the viewer is logged in or logged out. Once you've finished making changes, go ahead and click the publish button to save your new layout. Now it's time to start building your custom WordPress header layout. With your settings configured, Go ahead and click on the Launch Beaver Builder button to open up your new header in the Builder interface. When the Builder opens, you'll notice that Themer provides you with a default header layout. If you hover over the header contents, you can see that each is a Beaver Builder module. From here, you can modify this layout template however you like, or you may delete the rows and start from scratch. Let's begin by changing the background color of our rows. You can easily adjust the settings for each row, column, and module by hovering over it and clicking on the wrench icon. Scroll down and for background type, we want to choose color from the drop down, and then select a background color. To add different modules, click the plus sign in the top right corner of the screen. There are over 30 modules to choose from, including icons, text boxes, and photos. You can drag your desired module and place it where you like. Once your custom WordPress header is laid out exactly how you wish, it's time to change the default placeholder content to match your business's information. To do so, simply click on any module. One thing you'll notice when you open the template rows and modules is that some of the fields use a field connection instead of static text. In this example, the wellness text that appears on the screen is dynamically created from the site title field connection. 
You can create field connections by clicking the plus sign that appears on the right for eligible fields, then choosing one of the dynamic values in the list. In this case, the site title field connection draws its value from the WordPress setting found at Settings General Site Title. And the site URL field connection comes from the value found when we go to Settings General Site Address. You can always type in static text in these fields if you wish. As you make changes, the live preview updates in real time so you can always see exactly how your content will look on the front end of your site. There's no need to reload the page or open it up in another tab. When you're done making your changes, go ahead and click Done and Publish to make your header live. The only thing left to do is to preview it and make sure everything looks and works the way you expect it to. Question of the day, what have you created with Beaver Themer? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.